Welcome to a Tech Down Over product review. Well today I'm taking a look at the DJI Osmo, uh, a little 3-axis gimbal with the camera on it of course and I was just quite impressed with that. I've always wanted something to give me something like that slider effect. I do have a slider but it's quite awkward to take along with me. So I just thought I'd uh, just go through a few of the steps on on this one. Uh, we just undo each corner there, undo that axis, that one there, uh, undo that one there so it's rolling there, switch on, you'll see it go up, comes to a point, better take off the the lens cap always a good idea to take off, which can be a bit awkward to take off. So, uh, yep, there we've got it on there. It does hook up like a double click it and it'll reset it to the center. So it's pointing straight at the camera now there. It do, you can see that I do have the, the phone holder. What I did get, I did get the whole kit, which uh, if you're in the US will retail for about $649. If you're in Australia, it's round about uh, the 1099. There are others trying to sell it a little bit dearer, but uh, 1099 is probably about the price you would pay for it. I got the kit which consisted of the camera, the handle grip, uh, the phone support, and as you can see, I've got my Note 4 on there, so it's quite a, a big phone support on there. But you can use it without uh, without the the phone on it as well. I don't know whether you can hear it started up, but it does make quite a bit of noise. Uh, on that so it is making quite a bit of noise. You do have a few different things on there as you saw before if I double click it re-centers. If I triple click it does the old selfie uh, thing for the, the latest things there so you can't see my face at all in there but then I do it back there and it goes back to the front on that. You also do have the phone app where it connects up to. Let's see if I can get back into that. I must not make it connect through my phone uh, Wi-Fi on there, but just got to let it see on the Wi-Fi. Let's get into uh, uh, the applications there. Where is it? Wi-Fi. You can never find it when you want it. Where is the down Wi-Fi? Okay, there it is on the Wi-Fi. And then I just connect to the, it's connected to my home network, but I want to connect to the Osmo and it's connected. Yes, saved, secured, it's, is it connected? Oh, I'll connect, connect to that. And you must uh, go online and connect it through the phone one time or else you won't get this to activate. When I did first get it, I was under the impression that it was broken and I thought, gee, the damn thing, just like me, it won't work. But uh, it was me being typical, uh, just getting out, trying everything and not you looking at the instruction books. Well. That will teach me, won't it? So let's see if I can find the uh, the, uh, the the app and let's get it going on there. Oh, yep, it's gone to there. So let's see if you can see. Well, you can see there. Oh, it's got a picture of me looking at me there. If I do it do uh, the selfie mode. Oh, well, you can see it's pointing to to the camera where you can see I'm filming it on there. So. The app's quite good on there. If I get it like this, put it back the normal way. I can control the camera, so I can do it on the screen there. So I'll keep going round in circles. It's going all the way around there. I can control it, so you can do up, down, and remotely. So I think that'd be quite good if you just don't have your phone there. You just want to have it on a tripod. Uh, you can do that there too. What also I do like, because I'm not one that uh, wants that on all the time, so you can take that off, which will do that. Oop. Throw your phone on the floor. That's the easiest way to get the phone off. Not the best thing for your phone. I do want a new phone, so that might help with that. Put that down there. Well, the phone's still going on there as well. So as I said, you can still operate it from the, don't have to be uh, hooked up don't, doesn't have to be hooked up onto the stabilizer, uh, the little support. You can use that as well there. Also on the uh, also on the unit, there is a, a built-in mic input, 
which I'd definitely say you would need to need to use. Uh, let's try a little thing here. I'll just hit the record. Okay, I'm recording now, so right in my face. I'll do a bit of a selfie. One, two, three. Here it comes. It's coming back to me. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm talking into the Osmo now, but uh, I want to, uh, I'll probably dub some of this sound over what I'm doing now so you can hear the atrocious sound it does have. But uh, anybody who's doing anything with video, you usually have a separate sound source, like I've got going now, so I can put uh, the, the sound I'm recording through the camera through this a bit later on in post, but uh, let's see there, that one's going there. Well, that's sort of the, the basic idea of that. As I said, there are a few accessories you can get to it. I've got myself uh, the bicycle mount, so you can put it on the, the handlebars of a bike. Uh, it's got the little uh, suspension things on there, so it'll keep it from uh, shaking on there as well. As I said, it is a three-axis gimbal and nice and steady, but you'll still get some motion when you're uh, walking if you're not too careful with it. But all I wanted was the main thing, just to get those nice pans, just while I'm walking, just nice and slowly. Whereas even with the best of cameras, I can't get that. Whereas this one seems to be doing it good for me. You do have the little joystick control on the back of it as well. It's where you can just go forward, back. Oh, I'm still recording myself. Here we go. And then you can go up, or down, or up. Whichever way you want to do it there. And that's fine. Also, for those of you who own the DJI Inspire drone, it's the same camera that's uh, on that. So you can purchase, I believe, uh, just the hand unit, uh, and then just grab the, the one from your drone. And it's quite easy to do. It's just like, on, like we just hook that up, undo that one there, and it just lifts off. Quite easy. It's just got a little line, a uh, white line to line it back up when you want to put it in and just uh, snap it there but make sure it is aligned when you go uh, switch it on. As I said, single click like that, back a go, she again goes there. We did have the record button there. It also has another button for taking still, so click, click, it does on that. It's a 12 megapixel camera, I believe, yes. Yes, 12 megapixel still camera, just looking at my notes there. And it does record in 4K the uh, 4096 by 201 60 at 25 frames uh, per second so that's not too bad it does do a slow motion at 120 frames a second but that's uh, uh, at the uh, full HD but that's not too bad for uh, a camera of this size uh, but as I said and that was uh, just a couple of my things I bought my this from uh, the video guys down here in Melbourne I'll put uh, their information up on the screen somewhere on there I will do later but uh, the great guys to deal with that's about it for for me on uh, just showing you the unit you can undersling it and do it that way so when you're going down you can get it nice and low but be warned that it will be upside down when you're filming it and also what got me the first time was also that way yes it will do that but it does it uh, uh, the portrait will get supported into landscape mode so uh, luckily in the video I did that but I was able to uh, crop it out because it was 4k and put it in the right aspect ratio so just be careful on that you can hold it like that like a shot uh, like a torch and do it like that so it will come up like that there for you but overall I'm uh, not too disappointed with the unit as I said uh, probably the biggest downfalls of it uh, the uh, motor noise makes uh, quite a lot of noise and also it does get a little bit warm but uh, I mean you probably get about an hour's worth of recording from it it does have uh, the little micro SD card in the top here so that there so you better have a little adapter for that to take that out it does have a, a mini HDMI port in the back of the unit if you so wish to connect that but I find it much easier to put the the CAD into the machine and do it that way. Anyway, that's about it, but just do have a look. I'll just put a bit of video together, and here's the Osmo's first uh, outing. Thanks for watching.
Yeah. Mm-hmm.